getting started with Onshape, you will need to open a web browser. Any web browser will work, Edge, Chrome, or Firefox. And then we will navigate to starbase.onshape.com. Now you'll need to sign in with the username and password you were given. Next, we'll navigate to the Documents. So click on the Documents tab. Here is your list of documents. We are looking for Starbase Starship dash copy. Click on the file name to open the file. Now we need to make sure we are looking at the right uh, Starship assembly. So along the bottom, you'll see a bunch of tabs. So click on the Home tab. Then you'll see a tab that says Starship with a cube next to it. Click on that tab. And it may take a little while for all of the parts to load and form the Starship assembly. Now we will learn how to rotate objects in Onshape. So click and hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse. And you will see that you can turn the ship in all directions. So practice that. To go back to your starting point, right-click in an open space. From the menu that opens, select Isometric. Isometric is the orientation where you can see the top, front, and right planes of your object, shown by the cube in the upper right of your screen. To zoom, in on any part of an object, let's say we want to look at the wing up close, put your cursor on the wing and scroll the middle mouse button, the middle wheel, and you can scroll in and out. If you want to quickly resize so that the ship fits in your screen, right click from this menu, find Zoom to Fit and click Zoom to fit. And the Starship is resized to fit your screen. Next, we'll learn to pan. Pan means to move your object without rotating. Press and hold the middle mouse wheel and drag the mouse. And you can change the position of the object in our case, the Starship. Next, we will be looking inside the Starship. On the left of your screen, we're going to be using the Features list. Find the entry for Starship that has three cubes next to it, and right-click on that entry. From the menu, find Make Transparent and select. Now we can see inside the ship. This part is the control deck. Underneath the control deck are the research labs. You can zoom in 
and see what's there. There's something right there. I wonder what that is. Oh, look. It's our friend Bunsen. Let's zoom back out. And now we'll make the control deck transparent. So again, go to the left of your screen, find the control deck assembly, right click, and in the menu, select make transparent. And now we can see all of the research labs. And now we'll make the research labs transparent. On the left of your screen, find Research Lab Assembly, right click, select Make Transparent. And there you go, we can see even more of the ship. Let's go ahead and rotate so we can see the back. And we'll zoom in. And there looks like some space gems or something interesting. And you'll notice, let me slide this over. There's a geodome and the engine parts. This is the elevator for going between decks of the ship. To undo all of the transparent assemblies, click on the X to close this transparentness. And again, let's go ahead, right click in an open area, select isometric, and we're back to the beginning. Another way to look inside the ship is to use section view. So first, rotate your ship so you can see it sideways. Next, over by that large cube, there is a small cube menu. Open that with the down arrow, and we will go down to Section View and select that. Next, click on the flat part of the tail of the ship. And now you have cut a plane through the ship from the tail to the nose. So let's turn this a little bit so you can see what's going on. Now, go ahead and grab the arrow that's attached to the tail where you clicked. And you can slide that and move where the plane sections the starship. You can go ahead and rotate and zoom. Oh, there's an item right there. Looks like a cookie jar. Wonder what that's doing there. To turn off the section view, you can go ahead, back to the small cube, open the menu, go all the way to the bottom, and turn section view off. Right click, zoom to fit, and there's our starship. Now go to work and help Bunsen by finding the items that are lost.